What is up, you guys? It is your boy, John, here from Puma Plow. Welcome back to another Plains and Simple episode here on uh, Plains and Simple by Stevie, of course. Episode, what is this one? Uh, 14. Yeah, this is the lost episode. And, and you might be saying, what are you talking about? Well, a little story time for you guys. One night I was streaming. It was a Saturday night, and I was recording uh, my stream. It was like two weeks ago by the time this video comes out. And I noticed my hard drive was full. So I just started moving files. Well, I record everything to the same hard drive. So when I was moving files, I, I didn't pay attention to what I was moving and I moved this episode of Planes and Simple. So the problem with this episode of Planes and Simple is that it wasn't named yet. It was just like a bunch of numbers because that's what OBS names files unless you tell it what to name it. So, I went to record Plains and Simple the other day, and I'm like, man, I need an episode for this Saturday, the one, you know, like, where this video is going to be released, and uh, quickly realized that, uh, actually, no, I didn't quickly realize, I didn't realize that I went, was going to go and edit, and I was looking through my files, and I'm like, what is this file right here? It's like three gigs, it's about an hour long, hmm, <laughs> I wonder what it is. So I started watching it. I'm like, oh, that's plain and simple. And that fits right in the timeline of the last one I put on YouTube. I'm like, okay, cool. So as of recording this particular voiceover, the next three episodes in this series are recorded. Uh, it was a Thursday night, I think it was. Yeah, it was a Thursday night. Uh, Miss Steffi was streaming. And I just sat here and recorded plain and simple. And I'm just, I'm in love with this map, by the way. I'm having so much fun. Um, the way I'm playing this map is so different with like a lot of course play. I am starting to hire more workers and you'll see that later in a future video, but I'm starting to hire a few more. I don't want to hire everything. I don't want to hire combines. Um, that's kind of like against what I want to do. So there is that, but this it's just I'm, I'm having so much fun playing this map I really am I hope you guys are enjoying the series I know it's a different look at uh, farm sim a different way to make videos but I I'm just all about it right now I won't lie I really am I am all about it so there's that all right so let's see what are we doing here we're just continuing the, continuing the harvest words are still hard as you guys can see uh, obviously we're kind of broke on this map right now because we just um, purchased that field obviously we purchased that field towards the end of the last video and uh, we're checking how much fuel we have here I make way too much fuel on this map so the simple solution for me honestly is just sell it realistically the simplest solution is to not make any more but because I have the byproduct of straw on this map and because I'm using course play to pick up said straw the only thing I have to wait for or the only thing it really bothers me is it takes a little bit of time will be do <laughs> uh, you know I can be harvesting other fields I don't have to pick up all the straw in all the fields all the time but if it's a straw crop I might as well pick up at least one field you know whatever field gets harvested first put a guy out there and let him rip tater chip you know what I'm saying and yes I should probably bring in a, a bigger loading wagon but the in-game in ones work. And I'm actually enjoying, I know what I'm about to say is contradictory to um, what I'm hauling around right now. But I'm enjoying staying with in-game equipment um, as much as possible on this map. It is fun to kind of go back to the roots and play with in-game equipment. But like I said, I know I'm contradicting myself because I'm hauling a mod around right now. And I'm playing a modded map. And I'm using a mod called Course Play to play this modded map. But it's fun to use stock equipment. <laughs> so, there's that. Alright, so, second load of fuel. Like I was saying, I just, I make way too much fuel on this map. And, and it's not necessarily a problem. It's not a problem at all. It's, it's a byproduct. So, let's make money off of the byproducts. Um, somebody, and, and you probably watched this series, so you can let me know in the comments left a comment on while I was live streaming and I totally forget who it was at this point and I apologize for that but somebody was saying that they are playing this map oh god who was it their name started with an S because they emailed me about the Brux Chipper 
Oh, uh, I feel really dumb now. I can't remember who it was. Steven, maybe? Maybe a Steven. I'm not sure. But basically, another person's playing this map and wanted the Brooks Chipper to cut down trees to combine fields. That got the gears turning. Okay? Now, I can tell you it's not going to happen in, in this video or the next three because I haven't done it yet um, as of recording this. But in the future, I can totally, and I mean totally, okay, totally see chopping down trees, which, I mean, whatever. I don't really do a lot of logging in my solo maps, but it won't be like traditional logging. I will be chipping them and hauling them away with the wood chipper or hauling them away with, with trucks, but using the Brux chipper because that's just the easiest way to go at it for me. Uh, especially a lot of these are crooked trees. So yeah, I have a, a heavily modded uh, Brux chipper uh, that was actually modded by two members of the community, Green Gangster and uh, Benedict. It was modded by both of them. So like Gangster made it, made it good. Benedict made it great. <laughs> basically if you guys watch the streams you know what i'm talking about so there is that but uh we'll be we will be bringing that onto this map and having a little bit of fun with it i'm not gonna lie it should be it should be interesting <laughs> it should be very very interesting that's that's all i have to say like i said i haven't recorded it yet and i'm actually gonna kind of take a little break from recording this map and work on um the new let's see Wednesday and Friday map which is the platinum edition on Xbox uh, I'm not gonna take a break from uploading this map like I said I have three more of these kind of stocked up so I can take a break from recording this map and go work on another map I think that's the way I'm gonna try to go at this whole YouTube thing more because when I'm playing a map like Plains and Simple I'm into it but it's easy to get burned out because you know it's like uh, I have to play this map I don't often feel like, uh, I have to play this map, but you know what I'm saying? It's like, I need to make these videos on these days. But what I think I'm going to try to start doing is record like a bunch of these in a row and then a bunch of gold, not, 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 or not, not gold crest, not a bunch, but maybe two weeks worth at a time and then go, you know what I'm saying? So I'm not like, what I don't like doing basically is. Tuesdays I seem to record a lot Tuesdays and sometimes Thursdays sometimes Saturdays but mostly it's, it's been a lot of Tuesdays lately I, I get free time to record but I end up playing two sometimes three maps and it's like you get lost on what you're trying to accomplish on any of the maps because you're playing three different maps in a day if that makes any sense at all then uh, hey hopefully you guys get that but I don't know it, it makes sense in my little brain I don't know if it'll make sense to anybody else, but you know, it'd be nice to like focus on a map and actually feel like you're accomplishing something, you know, while I'm playing that map. So there's that. Um, apparently we're buying another truck. <laughs> oh, I guess I started my, uh, equipment by buying a third truck. Yeah. We need equipment guys. <laughs> we need equipment on this map in a bad way. We really do. Um, equipment is something that we simply just don't have enough of on this map and yeah <laughs> we need more we definitely need more because these harvests are not only harvest but everything on this map is taking a considerable amount of time but it's really not that bad because we're doing a lot you know coming up here soon in a, in a video and I hate talking about future videos that you guys can't see yet but basically coming up in the future video it's amazing what all i have running and going oh that's why i bought this truck was for hauling fertilizer because the fertilizer was actually full here so therefore it shuts the whole plant down and it's like no nah, no nah, you're not gonna do anything else just saying just saying you're not gonna do another thing until you empty my fertilizer okay and uh obviously we're not taking the fertilizer home <laughs> <laughs> I just, you know, I'm running that biogas plant probably more than I need to be, but it's a heck of a way to, to get some income coming in, uh, to the map. You know, it really is the, the diesel fuel alone is like a ton of money. Okay. 
an absolute pile of money is is the diesel fuel alone. That was uh, what was that? One hundred and twenty four thousand dollars for that load of uh, fertilizer. That's not bad considering I don't need it at the homestead right now. I have plenty there, so it's a byproduct. And we're making all this off grass that we're really not doing anything with because we don't have animals yet. I, I would. I, I am going to get into animals on this map. It will just be a, in a little bit here. Um, I realize that you guys can't just watch harvest videos. I understand that. And maybe, I don't think anybody's actually said that, but that's how I feel about it. It's like, how many videos of the same kind of thing can I put up in a row? So I am trying to do stuff different, you know, buy fields and, oh, drop stuff upstairs. <laughs> Sorry about that. Obviously, there's people in my house, so it's the whole thing but uh you know i i i was it's like the constant internal struggle of like okay we need to harvest again like all right let's go <laughs> and that's why on like most of my other series i skip all the planting because planting's really boring let's be real so i i try to skip as much of that as possible but here i'm i don't i don't skip much of that so i like the way i'm playing this map as far as not skipping much as far as recording goes it makes it makes playing this map a lot easier in a way to me because i'm not putting three hours in between recording 20 minute videos you know say like on rattlesnake there are times there are times i will put three hours in between videos and i'm not complaining about it because you know I, I i like the map i love what i'm doing but it gets a little old sometimes you know what I'm saying? When you just put in so much time to make a 20 minute video. So there's that. And yes, I could show more over on Rattlesnake, but at the same time, <laughs> that map is super repetitive right now. So there's that. There is that. Which I, I kind of, speaking of Rattlesnake, I don't know that I would play another 4X map by myself. I guess I didn't learn my lesson back with Pleasant Valley, which was a 4X map, but I ended up playing by myself because that's back when um, he quit, you know? If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about without me having to really say it. Um, those of you that have been asking, <laughs> asking questions, I think it's been on this series too. It's been on a lot of stuff lately. Uh, he quit, guys, and he's not coming back, okay? I hate to break the news to you, but it's been like coming up on two years here in uh, June, and he's not coming back. So anyway, there's that. All right, so we are putting this com not combine this truck on this field course over here. We're trying to figure out what field course it actually is here. Trying to figure it all out, but we'll get it figured out here in a minute because uh, we're gonna buy a combine. We're gonna go New Holland because uh, more capacity. You know, I don't think it's much more, but it is more. So why not, right? Makes sense in my head. So there's that. This this truck does not want to. There he goes. Say so this truck does not want to figure out his life at all. But yeah. So look at our new shiny combine. It's so nice and shiny and no hours on it. Beautiful. Gotta love it, right? And I turned the wrong way. Spoiler. John, you're going the wrong way. Here you go. Much better. <laughs> <laughs> I think I remember recording this episode and it was like late at night and there were a couple of things I think I did that I'm like why did I do that but hey it happens right that is the beauty of this map by the way is because I record uh, record all these without voiceover and do the voiceovers in post obviously I'm able to you know I'm able to uh record these late at night when I, I can't necessarily make a lot of noise in the house because there's people sleeping so I can't be down here you know yapping at the computer but I can sit here with headphones on and listen to YouTube videos or whatever and record this map so it's it's actually just awesome I, I'm all about the way I record this map everything about it I just I like I won't lie I like everything about how I record this map so there's that but as far as the fields, oh, we're going to be doing some plowing in the future, boys. 
My only concern, and, and maybe some of you guys that have used course play, if, if you plow, words are hard. If you plow field, oh my goodness. If you plow two fields together, <laughs> whoo, words are hard. Does course play recognize that? Meaning, like, when you set up course play here and it has the field boundary, does it recognize, like, oh, yep, the, you know, field one and two, let's say, are, are one field and it'll farm the whole thing. I have not plowed fields together on any map. Uh, I'm trying to think, actually. You know what? I did back in 15 with Pleasant Valley. Yeah, okay. Maybe I just answered my own question. It's the only real... One of the other real maps that I used course play on extensively was, was Pleasant Valley back in the day on 15. Um, and I know a different game, different version of everything, but still should maybe transfer. Um, I used course play on there a lot to harvest and to run. Well, did I use it to harvest or did I hire? I think the only thing I used it for back then was the empty combines. I could be wrong. I could be wrong, but I think the only thing I did with it back then. But I definitely used it on Pleasant Valley, and I definitely plowed fields together on Pleasant Valley, like the whole center of the map. On the blue farm, I want to say. Look, I turned the wrong way again. <laughs> you would think one of these days I would learn how to like go from the shop to the homestead, right? But I think it was on the blue farm I plowed all those fields together in the center of the map. Well, actually, on the green farm as well, and the red farm. Everything, basically, <laughs> back in the day. But uh, I don't think I used it for, quote, field work. I think I just used it to empty slash run trucks. So I guess it still is a question for you guys that have used course play. Maybe, Dwayne, I know you've uh, used course play extensively. So is that a thing? If you plow two fields together, will it count them as one field? I, I don't know. I would be very curious, and uh, I would appreciate uh, letting me know. Or I'll ask in TeamSpeak sometime, uh, Mr. Dwayne, if I remember. Which I probably won't, so there's that. There is that. And some of you other guys have probably used course play in the past as well. Just saying. Alright, so clearly this is not going to work for this, this particular moment because that cup mine needs to come around here. But hey, it's all good, right? We'll just uh, wait for old combine to go past. Or not old combine, new combine, brand new. Wait for him to go past, and uh, yeah. Realistically, this truck course kind of sucks. I should probably redo this truck course, therefore redoing the auger wagon course as well. Um, they both kind of suck. <laughs> I, I need to uh, I need to change it back to how I used to have it before I uh, uh, lost everything in the uh, transfer over to the new, well, the fresh and solid windows. Because if you guys recall, I think I lost all my courses, didn't I? Yeah, I totally did. I'm pretty sure I did on this map. I know I did over on Rattlesnake. And I don't know why, guys. But this first dump, when I'm trying to figure out, you know, line it up here for course play, the first dumping into the trailer is, like, the most painful thing of all time. And it doesn't matter if I'm too close, if I'm far away. It's the most painful thing of all time. And I, I don't understand. I don't know. It's probably something I'm doing wrong. Let's just be real with that. But it's weird because it happens again as well. But the good thing is once the course is set up and saved, um, I don't have to worry about it. So I'm all about that life. You know what I'm saying? So there is that. All right. Set him away to run with that combine. And uh, actually after this video I saved the map and it was like another week before I recorded the next one so we had to fire everything back up in the next video which is always interesting get everything running again uh, it's not bad as long as I save the courses but the combine courses I tend not to save or the quote field work planting fertilizing combining I don't save those courses um, I heard once upon a time that it will uh, lag your computer down I don't know that's just what I've heard, so. I try not to save uh, too many of those. I have no idea what was going on here, by the way. That combine, I had no clue why he was just sitting at the end of his row, uh, not moving. I, I, not a clue in the world, so. 
that is that that is this episode of planes and simple i greatly appreciate you guys watch it make sure you guys hit that like button for more subscribe with notifications on if you have not already done so as always thank you guys so much for watching have a great rest of your day and toodles